Okay, so after a bunch of hot work and some flame polishing, we've got a good strong bond across the surface. You can tell from line of sight that it's raised on the perimeters, which is fine. There's actually a high spot on the banding in the middle, and then a low spot at the junction where the slab meets the ring. So one thing I want to note here is you get really good uniform bonding across the surface here. Okay, Everything is well bonded, but I left one great example of what to avoid, and so you can see it actually if you look through the crack in the back part on the bottom of this band right here where I'm pointing. And uh, what I'm trying to show is just that this bond right here is not full. And so if I were to load this piece of wax, if I were to bend this slab against the ring, it would want to break there and that fracture plane would continue all the way across our joint. And so now we need to fill that region, um, which is pretty easy to do. So I just want to show what we're looking at, and you can see that the bond on the back, right, on the, on the face of the ring, the top part, is very strong. But the bond on the interior, we can come and stitch that up more strongly, which requires a little bit of buildup in this gap here, a little buildup in this gap here, but mostly just getting our pokey tool hot and penetrating this gap so we can reflow wax throughout the entire contour. And that's hard because you want to pierce your pokey tool all the way down to the bottom of the crack, hot and slow, to make sure you fill it all the way up. So we're going to demonstrate that, but I got to lay a big heavy something something on my wax to keep it still. I'm just going to use my file, and then we're going to have my alcohol lamp just as my hot tool. And then I may choose to feed wax in through the fluff. I've got a jar of fluff here. Generally for the small stuff, um, the fluff from your filings comes in really handy when you're trying to pick up with um, this tiny needle. So the problem here is you can't really see what's happening with the lighting. So I think we're going to steal one of the lights and try and bring it closer. So everyone gets a good idea of what is actually happening here. So see if that's close enough. So you can see that fluff just picks right up. Hopefully this is still recording. My iPad is doing something very, very strange. It's having a seizure on the focal plane. We're now hot enough to drive the pin in. We've added our extra material. Now I'm just going to lay it down. And I'm sliding my pin through that gap. 